Today is an overview of the Scale network. Scale is a blockchain network that stands out for its incredible user experience, its high scalability, and its zero gas fees. In today's video, I'm gonna go through exactly what Scale is, how to use it, the tokenomics of the Scale token, and then some yield and airdrop opportunities on Scale today. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi, my name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice. This is solely intended to be used for educational purposes. Additionally, I want to disclose that this video is being made in partnership with Scale Labs as part of an educational series that I'm producing about Scale. Now let's get into it. First, what exactly is Scale and why should you care about it? Scale is a blockchain network, but it's really more like a network of blockchains. The way that Scale's architecture is set up is that it has many unique apps that are built on their own specific app chains or hubs that are built for a certain purpose like DeFi. However, each of those app chains or hubs are ultimately part of the scale network and they are secured by the same proof of stake validator set. And the result of this is that scale is able to offer a very good user experience by processing large numbers of transactions with no gas fees. And the way they enable that is that because so many apps are built using their own app chains on top of scale, those apps actually pay the validator set rather than the users paying it. And this might seem trivial to you if you're a seasoned blockchain user compared to a chain that has very low fees. However, it's an important distinction because what this allows is for anyone to use the chain and they might not even know that they're interfacing with a blockchain on the back end they just know that the app works and allows them to do something that they wouldn't be able to do otherwise additionally scale is lightning fast according to the scale by dartmouth blockchain it is one of the fastest blockchains they measured that scale could theoretically process 397.7 transactions per second compared to 375 for solana 85 for Phantom and these other amounts for these other chains. And now this stands out, of course, because some of these other chains like Solana and Phantom are already known for their fast speeds. Uh, and by the way, these other chains are also constantly improving. I don't know exactly when this study was done, but the fact remains that scale is extremely fast and this is reflected in their usage. If we look at this recent report from CoinGecko on the crypto gaming sector, we can see that scale is the single number one blockchain by active GameFi addresses, beating out Wax, Ronin, Hive, Polygon, and other chains. And so what this shows is that Scale is already handling a large number of users that are using it for crypto gaming. And this is significant because I don't think many people know about Scale compared to the large number of users that they've already accumulated in their ecosystem. They also have a number of AI projects. You can see several of them here. And overall, it just has a generally huge ecosystem, especially in gaming, especially in AI, but they've got NFT projects, music, infrastructure, social, a small but growing DeFi ecosystem. We'll talk about that more in a minute, uh, as well as other types of applications that are being built on scale. Uh, they also have a really strong team. So if we look at just the founders of it, you have Jack O'Holloran and Stan Cladco. And uh, these guys have some pretty impressive backgrounds. If you look at Stan's background, he has a PhD in physics. He spent 16 years working in Silicon Valley with 18 years of cryptography experience. So that's cryptography, not uh, cryptocurrency. Obviously cryptography is the basis of cryptocurrency, but if you're wondering how you could have 18 years, that's because he was, he was into, crypt, into cryptography before crypto was a thing. Uh, Lots of experience in the hard sciences, actually running cryptography startups since the early 2000s. Uh, if you're confused why it says early 2000s crypto, it's because it's referring to cryptography here. Uh, and then he's been active in blockchain cryptocurrency projects for a while, such as the Ethereum Research Foundation. If you look at Jack's background, and then you can see he is a seasoned startup founder with positions at Good Technology, Motorola, uh, and then building various types of businesses since the 2000s. So really, really powerful team here. And I think that's part of the reason why they've able, been able to get so many projects that actually decided to build on, on scale as a platform. And it's actually constantly 
getting better. This is an update just from less than two weeks ago, introducing Pacifica V3, the newest scale upgrade, and this increases transaction throughput by 122%. It increases their block mining speed by 108%. Uh, so scale was already fast, already one of the faster chains. It should be getting even faster, which with all these different games building on it is probably going to be important. And if you look at the stats on it, then you can see here that uh, it's pulling some serious usage. Now, wallets does not equal users, you know, just know some people use those synonymously. They're different, uh, but it's got a lot of wallets, millions, millions and millions a month. It's got even more transactions, tens of millions a month and actually growing. So whatever else is happening, the number of transactions is growing. July so far, they're at 64 million, which is already more than June, which was the highest ever. Uh, and then you can also see the gas fees saved. And that's what things would have cost if you were using Ethereum compared to what they're costing on scale. Well, they're not costing anything on scale. So, so um, basically what people are saving by using these transactions on scale rather than on Ethereum mainnet. Uh, and then you can also see that there are 20 total scale chains. So again, this is a whole network of chains that are built on top of scale. Additionally, if you look at DAP radar here, which tracks the usage of different blockchains, then you can see here that they are one of the largest chains in terms of unique active wallets. Over the past seven days, they are ranked eighth above BNB chain and Arbitrum, just behind Ronin. If you look in terms of transactions over the past seven days, then you can see they are ranked sixth ahead of Polygon and behind some others like Solana, Nier, and, and a few other gaming related chains. All right, now let's get into the tokenomics of scale. As of the time making this video, scale has a market cap of around $256 million. And notably, this has a pretty good ratio of circulating market cap to fully diluted valuation with the FDV being $265 million. So the vast majority of the supply is already in circulation. However, there is some inflationary rewards. So you can see that the max supply is higher than the, than the total supply. As far as the actual utility of the token, it serves four main functions. First off, validating, executing, and securing the network. Token holders stake their scale to validators who run nodes that make the scale network function. So it is proof of stake. Uh, it's also used as rewards for validators and delegators. Uh, so when people uh, stake their tokens or they're running validators, they receive a, an inflationary reward. That's what I was talking about with the max supply being larger than the current supply. Uh, additionally, developers purchase their subscription access to scale chains using scales SKL tokens. Remember how there's no gas, so you don't need to pay with SKL to use the chain because doing things on the chain doesn't require gas. Instead, developers that are deploying those chains or they're, they're um, renting space to deploy an app chain, they're the ones who have to, have to pay the SKL tokens. Uh, and then finally, scale tokens are used for on-chain voting. So they have on-chain governance and those and that governance controls economic parameters of the scale network. Now let's get into how to start using scale yourself as well as some current yield and airdrop opportunities. To start, you're gonna to go to this scale portal, that's portal.scale.space. And this is gonna kind of be your hub for doing things on scale. It has a bridge, it has a list of the various chains, it has stats and it has staking. So the basic things that you wanna do on scale you can find pretty much all of them here in the scale portal. First thing you'll need to do is set up a wallet that's compatible with scale. And luckily you can actually use MetaMask on scale. So if you've used MetaMask for Ethereum or another Ethereum compatible wallet, then that's gonna work with scale too. It's all, all EVM compatible. Uh, next thing you'll have to do though, is you'll have to actually add the scale network that you're gonna use to your wallet. And to do that, I'm going to go to the chain section here, and you can see that there's uh, a lot of different, a lot of different chains. There's Calypso Hub, Europa DeFi. There's a whole bunch of app chains like Block Brawlers, Crypto Casino, or Crypto Coliseum, and others. 
Uh, and what I'm going to connect to is going to be the Europa DeFi hub. And the reason for that is there's some cool DeFi opportunities on the chain right now. Uh, the DeFi ecosystem is just getting started, but there's some interesting things. So to do that, just click on connect to chain and it's going to prompt you to, well, it's already in this wallet, but it would prompt you to switch to it uh, or add it to your wallet if it's not there. Uh, as an example, if I wanted to add Calypso hub, I would click on connect to chain and it's going to prompt me to add this to my wallet, which I will. And then it will prompt me to switch to Calypso hub. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch back to the Europa network. All right. So next thing you're going to do once you've done that is you're going to need to bridge some funds. And remember that was all in this portal. So we can just go to the bridge section here. You will have to read the and approve the agreement. And then you can bridge from Ethereum to any of these chains. And you can see there's actually quite a few here. So uh, if you really want to dive into scale, try out some of the interesting gaming opportunities, there's a lot to do here. Uh, but for this demo, I'm going to go ahead and bridge from Ethereum right over to the Europa DeFi hub. After a second, a little bit of S fuel appears in my wallet, and now I'm ready to actually use the bridge. So I'm going to send some ETH over. I'll just do 0 0.005 ETH, and I'm going to send that right over to the Europa DeFi hub. I click on transfer. I switch the network back to Ethereum, and then I have to approve the transaction like I would with any bridge. And if you've never done bridging before, just know that sometimes any of these bridges, they can take a few minutes and uh, don't panic. I have yet to have a bridge that doesn't work. So uh, yeah, then after a second, the transfer is complete. Now, one thing I would note here is that I transferred ETH over for the purpose of this demonstration. I would recommend if you want to use scale and you want to transfer something over, in most cases, transferring the scale tokens, which you can also buy an Ethereum over, is going to be the best move. Reason being that it's still a very new DeFi ecosystem. There's not a lot of liquidity on here. And so most things that you would want to do, like staking, you're going to need the scale tokens and it's going to be easier to actually buy those elsewhere, either buy it on an exchange and withdraw it or or buy it on chain on Ethereum and then, and then transfer that over rather than transferring ETH over. Uh, this is just a demonstration. Uh, but all right, so once we're here, what can we do? Well, first thing is if you have scale, you can go over here and you can stake it. All right, you can stake it, secure the network, and get some rewards. Who wouldn't want some of those? Uh, there's also some interesting DeFi opportunities. So Sushi Swap, very old DeFi project, uh, but it's usually sort of the pioneer, oftentimes the pioneer in terms of going on new chains early. They recently launched on scale, and they have some pretty good incentives, right? right now. In fact, there's an incentives program going on from Scale Labs with $150,000 in SKL tokens to people who provide liquidity. And you can see as a result of that, providing liquidity, for example, on ETH and Scale is currently yielding around 300% APR, USDC Scale 240%, uh, very, very good yields. Now, this doesn't last forever. Uh, this current round of incentives only goes, if you look at it, um, it's currently at around 300%, but almost all of it is from the scale rewards and those only go until late July. So you can see that they end four days from when I'm making this video. Um, but yeah, you, then you can do all your normal yield farming things here. For example, say that I wanted to swap some of that ETH that I bridged over to scale. I could do that here. And you can see that, that, um, for something like this, where it's just $17, there is enough liquidity even here. I'm uh, losing a couple cents. Uh, but if you're trying to bridge over, for example, hundreds or thousands of dollars, you might quickly find that there's not very much liquidity on the chain yet. Uh, but maybe that's an opportunity, right? You can provide liquidity yourself and, and earn all of the fees. I also always say that it's helpful to go to chains when the DeFi ecosystem is just starting because it helps you put yourself in the shoes of a 
wail and understand how they feel when they're going to an alternative layer one or a layer two they've never tried before. Another application that I think is pretty interesting right now is Zesh, Zesh.io, partnered with Scale as well as all of these, all of these other names. And this is a game. It's a game and an AI driven app. And they have a confirmed airdrop right now that you can earn by playing this to the moon game. And it's one of those tap to earn games that you may have seen going around. You can see that it's a telegram based game. And now you can click here, play now and earn coins. Let's open it up and let's try the game. All right, Roger that let's play. So to start, I will start clicking and you can see here I have to tap and I guess my goal is to go to the moon. I'm just clicking away and and eventually I'll, I'll earn these prizes and they have confirmed eventually there's some sort of airdrop. And you can see here Zesh airdrop is on the way. Uh, there's also other interesting tasks you can do to earn more points or they're calling them coins um, like pin posts on X. So other X Twitter, Twitter related activities, Telegram, open an account, etc. So there's a lot of things you can do to earn these coins towards a future airdrop and crucially social activities, doing things on scale again, where there's, where there's no gas fees, it's free. If you want to stay more on top of the latest trends, news, on-chain analysis, and token unlocks in crypto, be sure to check out my newsletter, dynamodefi.substack.com. Every week I publish recommended readings, some interesting on-chain analysis, a farm or airdrop opportunity, and more. Again, that's dynamodefi.substack.com. And for more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.